Hey everyone, welcome to Fitness of Cara. Today we are going to do an ab workout, but we are going to specifically focus on our intercostals and our obliques. So working down the side of the body. First exercise we're going to do is called the Russian twist. You're going to come into a seated position on your mat. We're going to have our legs bent, feet flat on the floor. You're going to extend through your spine so it's nice and straight. And we're going to take our arms in front of our body. Ready and go. What you're gonna do from here is we're gonna take a gentle twist over to the side, back into the center, over to the other side, back into the center. Notice that we are gonna do it nice and slow. We need to make sure that we have correct form and we're not rushing through the movement. We're looking at quality rather than quantity. And if you want to progress with this exercise, you can grab a hand weight. If you don't have one of those, you can just grab a heavy bottle of water and then just take it over to the side. Good, nearly there. And take a little rest. Lay down on your mat. And we're gonna go into a side crunch. Instead of having our legs bent lots, we're gonna extend the legs a little more. We're gonna have our arm across the floor, one hand behind the head. Get ready and lift. You're gonna bring your chest up and then come slightly forward. Inhale as you go down, exhale as you lift. Now with this exercise, what you wanna do is just make sure that you're not putting all your pressure on that bottom arm. So you're not lifting yourself up. You're using your obliques to lift and twist you over. Remember the exhale at the top, inhale and lower. Again, we're going nice and slow and hopefully you should start to feel a nice burn down the side of your waist. Try and keep your legs together and rest there. So very, very slowly roll over to the other side. So I'm going to show you what it looks like on this side. So again, legs extended out long. That arm is on the floor. This hand is behind your head. Ready and lift. So you can exhale forward, inhale and back. Now remember, you're coming up and across. So I want you to really think about working down the side of your waist. So don't just do the exercise, but think about the muscle that you're working. Big exhale as you lift, and a nice big inhale as you lower. Hopefully you're starting to feel that. Sometimes you get a little bit of a, a judder on the way up. That's quite normal. That's it, and release. Okay, come up onto your side. Now, up onto your forearm, I'm going to go into a three-quarter plank. So I'm going to lift my hip up off the floor. What we're going to do is we're going to hold the side plank now. So this is an option here. If you find this is too much, keep your hip on the floor. Otherwise, you can come up onto your knee or you can go onto both feet. What we're going to do here is we're going to lower the hips down and then lift. Lower the hips down and lift. Try and make the movement as big as you can. And just make sure that that body stays nice and straight. And what you might do is you might feel a little bit of pressure going through that shoulder. So try and think about posture, shoulder down, back, gentle squeeze of the shoulder blades. So very, very slowly, up and lower. And I want you to rest there. All right, we're gonna go the other direction now. Again, on your forearm, you can come up on your hand if you prefer. So knees, toes. Right, ready? And lift. So first thing, you're just gonna hold it. Make sure that you're in a good position. Watch that shoulder. And then when you're ready, off we go. Hips down and lift. Again, think about making the movement as big as you can. That's it. I always find this exercise, um, it's all about doing it, 
but it's one of those that you feel it definitely feel this the next day or two days after I said we need to keep going right to the end so three two one and release well done now we're going to go back onto our back and this time I'm going to get you to take your arms out nice and wide knees bent right get ready we're going to drop our knees over to the side and go so knees are going to come over we're going to come back into the center and then over to the other side there's lots of different levels here you can keep your feet on the floor there's your level one this is the next level and then if you want to make it even harder you can have your legs straight the whole way through I'm not going to do that one because I may not come back up. Make sure that you stay in neutral. So as you come back in the center, your lower back should still be in contact with the floor. That's it. Just going slowly over side to side. Make sure that you have lots of control. And rest there. Make sure you pop a like on my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If there's any workout videos you want me to do in the future, please let me know by dropping a message down in my comments below.